All Eyes on Fishing with Mitch Peterson, Josh Sheldon, and Brad Qualley leading you to the next level. Everybody, welcome back to All Eyes on Fishing. So we just got done talking about boats, and now we're going to go into boat kickers. Ooh. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. And you know what? Who knows? We never know where this is going to take us, but we might end up talking trolling motors or electronics too. Yeah, I mean, we'll Probably see. Not. We'll see. This Probably is volume not. two. I think there could be a volume. volume. Yeah, we could go up to 38 volumes when we're starting to talk about outfit boats. But, so um, you know, I... So here's the thing. I want to set up the stage for each one of us Kicker. to talk. Kickers. So Mitch doesn't have a – he's got a 17-foot aluminum uh, tracker target. He puts his 12-year-old off the and back. He and he has a – just let me start before we start <laughs> being an idiot. Um, <clears throat> so Mitch doesn't have a kicker, but he has a, he has a jack plate on the back, trolling plate. Yep. Yeah, not a jack I, plate. I, I, mean, I, I yeah. correct my thank you. And then I have uh, a target 18 aluminum boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the Which we established gun. in boats one. It, we, yep, it's at the wider gunnel one, so it's a little bit wider than some of the other target ones out there, but still, it's the, just to give you a perspective. And I have an eight Mercury, mm-hmm. and then Josh has a 620 with a 15 horse, right? Evan Rude, yep. Evan Rude. Yep. So we all run H-O. a little, well, we all run a little bit different. Um, but it's key to have something to be able to get you down to a slow trolling speed. I'm talking not, 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 uh, trolling motor slow well it could be but for the most part you're you're we're talking once you start hitting that one one to three and a half trolling speed right well yeah i mean we you can go slower you can go faster. well i mean i think that's what we were you know discussing when we started getting into this and we had to stop on the first one is you know, vol or the, the the kicking motor or the kicker motor. Jeez, kicking. Got me, you got me <laughs> yeah, me talking like you. Uh, the kicker is, um, and you're not even drinking. I know me uh, that water's hammering me. Um, the ki- the kicker is important, and and the reason. So you put a troll master on yours to get it to do what you wanted. Oh yeah. Mine has a built in uh, toggle switch on the handle. I have a tiller um, that uh, does RPMs up or down. And the reason we like that is because we can get that kicker motor Dial down, in. down to, I mean, it is barely moving us. I can get it down. Mine is about 0. 0.7, 0. 0.8. And it is perfect. I can do spinners. I can do bottom bouncers. I can do all of those things where I stick that, that, um, kicker into gear. I bump it down as far down as it'll go for the RPMs and I control with the electric off the front and I can go all day, uh, and, you know, pulling whatever all day. And not worry about my batteries going out. Plus, that 15 has an alternator and kicks back into that, the system. That's a cool part. That is and cool. That is big because and I had a nine, the nine nine. I had the older nine nines mm-hmm. when they first came and I out. I think some of the some of the nine nines have them now, though, don't they? I don't know. I'm that nine sure. nine, they might, but that well, nine nine was a real bitch. quick. Josh, Josh brought up something how we well how these guys run their kickers. And trolling motor. Well, you could pretty much um, say you run the kicker. Yeah. You're in my boat, like yeah, ninety nine percent of the time. <laughs> and, then, and then I'm in Josh's if I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but we use the trolling motor to steer. Yes. So the, the kicker, electric, the yes. kicker, just it's so everybody propulsion. gets this, is just your forward propulsion. We even tighten down the thing; it, it can't even turn. Yeah. You know, you you can't turn oh, it yeah. from back there. Yeah. And just steer with the trolling motor. So just so people get an idea. Yeah. If anybody's it. seen and it's like awesome. a, a coal train in the mountains, right? They got the, you know. Locomotive push. Yep. They got a, <clears throat> several in the back, and those are the pushers, right? Those are the bad boys that push everything, and the ones in the front are the pullers, and that's how you, you, you know, operate. That's well, and what, the reason mm-hmm. why, why, why do we do that? Because if you want to start, if you want to troll at that one, two to one, five, a lot of boats, just with whatever engine they're running, you just put it in, in gear. Not revving it. It's going to push you around that one five to two miles an hour. Probably that more like that two miles an hour. Two or, or above, yeah. yep. So it's, you're going to be at two. So if you're trying to fish spinners at one one or yeah. death at point nine yep. in the wind, whatever, mm-hmm. <clears throat> you have to do something like what you did on your boat. You have mm-hmm. to put the trolling plate on it because now go. that drops you down trolling. Or you put out wind socks. Yeah, you can go wind socks. There's so much you can do. Buckets. Your, boat, matter, yeah. your trolling motor on backwards, but I'm just talking general p- forward propulsion mm-hmm. from your from your from the back of your boat. Yep. Because there's a lot of things yep. you can do to affect that. But having your trolling plate on there takes you from 2 to 1 mm-hmm. down to 1-1. One, one. 
one yeah. oh. You yep. can't get below one oh. No, you no. Can't, I, I don't even know if I can get down at one one. Pro, you're, it's, you're, it's a little fast. Yeah, mm. you're on the high. Okay, you're probably right. It's probably like one two. You're probably mm. on the high end, um, of if you want to pull bouncers for sure. You can yeah. pull spinners, and you're on the low end of cranks starting <laughs> them. So there's a there's definitely it works, an application. It, it works great for you know early spring and fall trolling cranks. It does. You know, it, I like that. Mm. Yeah, because that's the, that's three. where you're kind of targeting that mm. one three one four right mm. there, and it's perfect. Yep. Yeah, but but I will I will say this about the trolling plates. So it, it's slick. <clears> it's a it's a way cheaper alternative to a kicker motor. So you know do what you got to do, but. The drawback with it, you lose a lot of control. So, like, when I'm loading or pulling up to the dock, if it's windy and stuff. Especially if you got a side wind. Yeah. It, 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 you just don't have the react, it, the motor doesn't react when you, when you turn it and give a little gas. It, you just don't have that quick response. If they don't know what a trolling plate, tell them how it kind of works. What well, it, it, it just attaches right to the back transom and it, it's, it's got springs on it and it actually hangs over the, over the prop. So just picture of like a, a metal plate that goes over the back of the prop and there's it's springs on a hinge. So when, when you do you know, put, put it in gear and, and hammer it, the, the pressure the water pressure from the prop will, will raise that flapper up and, you know, allow you to, Motor to down. go, but it, but it's that pressure, you know, that kind of back pressure, I guess, on the propulsion. Is yeah, when the you're whole slow, especially on side wind, trying to load because you don't have that response because it has that plate in front of it. Yes, yep. And the other thing I've heard, I've never read this or anything, but um, I it sounds like it's they're not that good for your motor either. I, I've heard the same thing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's been on there yeah. for years, and I've I've never had you an got issue those, with it. But you got those bigger horsepower motors that you put a trolling plate on. I, now yours. It's a I think horse. 90 is probably on the line, right? Like I think a 90 probably can still go slow enough and and does enough um, in that, you know, but a motor like mine, is, <clears throat> there's no way. I mean, yeah. you would blow it up. Yeah. So, um, so I think that's a different, you know, a different deal. But you're, you're right. I mean, I think I, I wouldn't put one on any bigger than yours. I mean, mm -hmm. if yours was... The 115, I wouldn't do it. Nah, yeah. I, you're probably right. I think, you know, if you're in that 25 to 90 range, that's yeah. probably... It's probably where you need to be. I mean, I would say it. 90's the top, top. I, I wouldn't mess yeah. with. I mean, even the 90, I would be hesitant, but I'd be like, eh. Like no, well, said, we've big, used it for years, and it, it seems to work Yeah, it, it works. You can't. The, the problem is, is loading, and then, um, or that type of scenario. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is it just doesn't have enough control it's lower sure. either. It just doesn't, because if you're, if it's, if it's flat calm, no wind, and you got it in gear, that trolling plate's down of course you're at one three well now you have the. do you have to steer what's your steering wheel mm -hmm. because if you drop that trolling motor down to be able to put it on two or three power to be able to direct you now you've just bumped yourself up to one five yeah just right. to have some 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 bite in the front of your boat to be able to turn right mm -hmm. so it, it's got limited applications yeah. but it's yeah. better than going two two if you're trying to get around that one five yeah. speed. Yeah. i mean what else do you yeah. do you, i mean you we've go talked from catching catching fish or not catching fish. yeah it's better than yeah. nothing yeah. right yeah. well and so the next thing is then you move into like the kicker. a kicker and the kicker and 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 i think <clears throat> the 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 kicker motor is graduating i think it's becoming um especially in the fiberglass boats uh, almost everyone has gone to the 15 horse instead of the 99 mm -hmm. and i think the 15 horse um I think it outperforms. I think you get the same lower RPMs. I think you can, with the Trollmaster for the Mercs or the toggle switch on the Evinrude, you can get that lower speed. Um, I really like the Evinrude because it's two stroke instead of four. It starts so easy. Mm -hmm. I have, I mean, that 15 HO, um, kicker motor from Evinrude is probably the best motor I've ever fished with as far as small motors go. It, it always, I mean, I just, it always starts. I it never even hesitates, and uh, and I use the crap out of it. I've used it in snow. I've used it in ice cold. I've used it in hundred degree days. It never hesitates. It always goes. And that toggle switch is perfect on the kicker handle. Right. I lock it down, and I steer with the other one, and it goes all day. I don't even think about it. You know, no, unless the wind kicks up on any mm -hmm. more juice or less. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I mean, the batteries uh, stay stay up. It, it really is a an impressive deal with the 15. And I know a lot of the new Mercs, a lot of the guys with the ZVs are, are running the 15s. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I think when we talk about Brad, get a new boat and we're talking about kicker motors, cause we've already decided he's going to get the biggest outboard motor he can get. 
No, I remember remember I said I'm not because you want that's me right, to. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing out of uh, spite now. No, no more airs on this one. Uh, I think that uh, that you know, the, I think the 15 is a far better choice for you. Well, I agree. You know, so when I went with, I, I mean, I think it's a great engine, and I don't know if some of that nine, nine the nine nines out there have that same charging aspect that the 15s do. I can't remember if the new ones do, but I don't, I don't yeah, know, I because I, I haven't, I haven't been in the market to look, so I don't pay that much attention. Yeah. Well, I know that's that the Mercury Pro Kicker you're talking about, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, and if the listeners know out there, t- send us a message at All Eyes on Fishing at Gmail. Let us know. Yeah. Right. Or comment in our comments and our Facebook posting when we put this out. Yeah. Because we want to know. I mean, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know. And that's why I want to learn. I from thought you guys. maybe, I thought maybe the new I think they do. pros do. I think I read something um, about it, but I'm just guessing. So, um, but when I bought my boat back in 2012, so it's an eight year old boat. I got the 115 that we've already discussed and, and it, it afforded me with the price point I was in to get the eight horsepower. Um, I, I was actually, it saved me money getting the eight horsepower. I was going to go to, I think it was, what are they called? The Bigfoot? The nine nines at that time? The Bigfoot. Yep, I was big going foots. to get that because that was still, that ended up putting me in the price point that I wanted to be. Right. But I went with the eight. And the reason I went for the eight is because I was doing some research. I called a guide up in Canada that I, I was researching some stuff on the internet. Um, I don't, I wasn't dial up still. I think it was actually fast speed. Because <laughs> 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 it was. <laughs> Yeah, if some of you don't even know what that is. But yeah. like, what are frustrating. Guys but so you know how I chose the eight over the nine nine because it's it was it was only like a thousand dollars difference or nine hundred bucks difference. Is that I I found a guide up there that had God, what did he have? Like nine, ten, eleven boats that he rented out to folks. So I saw pictures on it and he had eight mm. horsepower on there. So I called him and said, Hey, why do you he thought I was trying to book a trip, but I said no. <laughs> and so he was all happy at first. No, but then, then, no, but then after. I started talking to him, and he's like, "Oh no, I'll tell I'll tell you why I went with the eight because his original series he had the nine nines, and he says at a thousand dollars a pop, putting those eights on his boats, he did not notice one bit of difference, nothing, top end speed, reliability, started nothing. Yeah. He goes mm-hmm. not at all, and he was running them on. Um, I can't remember if it was 17 or 18 foot aluminum. Now they're stripped down. They're not, uh, have, don't right. have all the things that I have. Yeah. He goes, yeah. but I would have zero hesitation <laughs> on putting an eight on there because I know in, in the boats that I run, I noticed zero other than mm-hmm. what came out of my wallet. I was like, done. I well, mean, that's, uh, if so, he's got 11, 12 boats too, I know. You know, 10, 11 grand. That's yep. a big deal. So yeah, it is a big deal mm-hmm. when he's outfitting those, you know yeah. what I mean? So I went with the eight and I'll be honest. This last year, this boat, this engine's kind of giving me fits. And it's probably because I've had it for eight years and I run the hell out of it. We use mm-hmm. it all the time. And I haven't done any maintenance. <laughs> maybe well, it's changing. Maybe it's a new spark plug. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good to go. Some yeah. spark plug, maybe. <laughs> maybe fuel filter. Filter or maybe some good gas in it. Don't let it sit all winter. And you, you have I the t- four stroke eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it. It runs great though. I mean, I'm going to say because that's my air. Once it gets started, it runs fine, but it's a little harder to start because I just think I needed a little TLC. You need a little love that thing. Yeah. For sure. And I'm sure it'll be fine. But so seven out of eight years, like a dream, right? Well, the first two years I had it were a little bit challenging because I went with the manual pulse start. I didn't have it as the electronic mm. one. I, I, and one of the reasons I did that is because you I wanted another 85 cents. Nope. It had zero to mm. do with cost at that point. Mm. I wanted to have the option in the eight to be able to pull start it and the, the shaft length that I had, but not be able to, if my big motor died and not have batteries that I could, I had, I could a pull start, start it and a way to start and get it saved us one year you know, yeah. out in the middle of the night in my big motor drain the battery for, I don't know what happened, just went bad. And, but that's the reason it had nothing to do with cash at that point mm-hmm. for the electronic start. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them now have the electronic starts. You pull the Kelly or the top off and you can actually, there's a way to manually start it. Mm-hmm. That wasn't the option when I bought this or what they had mm-hmm. there. So that's why I went with that. But the first two years I didn't, we didn't use it that much. Because it was kind of a pain in the ass. Because when you drop down that, uh, I was all about it. It pushed the boat, no problem. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's like any anybody that has a kicker motor, they have problems when you're doing a toggle or not to toggle uh, the hand handle throttle, uh, the yeah. handle throttle. Yeah. yeah, because you try so slight to turn an eighth inch, and you're yeah. like, oh my god, yeah. yeah, yeah. So did some research on that. Went went. I got me the Trollmaster too. Mm-hmm. Put that baby on, and. 
oh my god, is that money? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I can I I can consistently run. I can't really control it. It, it, it runs at point six. That's where I can go down to is point six, mm-hmm. and it'll stay there all day. Yeah. And when I get a fish on, because I'm driving with my, so if we're running death at point seven, point eight, I can put that thing. If there's wind, if not, mm-hmm. I'll just run the trolling motor. But if I want to get up that point nine, we drop the trolling motor down, put it on two or three. I'm going point nine, no problem. Get a fish on. If it's a big fish, I hit idle, drops me back down to half speed. Reel it in, hit run, it goes right back up to where I was. The troll master made that kicker yep. motor badass. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. Badass. Yeah. And it and if you don't if if you guys don't or if you're worried about using your kicker motor for noise nah. or anything like that, uh you know, you want to hear something interesting sometime. Um, jump in the lake, you know, and have somebody on your boat and run the electric. And run the kicker and see which is louder. One's just goes barely hear you anything. You can barely hear anything out of the kicker, and you can hear a a. Now it just depends. Now the new uh, Lowrance, uh is supposed Ghost. to be different because it doesn't have the brushes, mm-hmm. but um, <clears throat> most of the you know the the trolling motors you have now the electrics you will hear a a, a high pitch sound. Mm-hmm. Um, so. You will. You, I you, wonder how the fish hear that though, because they well, have a lateral know. line. I, I wonder, wonder if it vibrates. That high pitch mm-hmm. vibrates on them. You know, does that matter? I'll oh. tell you what. I've gone right over them with that kicker motor. I mean, right over the top. You can see them. Uh, nothing. I know. We well, we've mm-hmm. trolled in two, three feet of water with my kicker motor, and that yeah. fish catch fish. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think uh, I, I don't. I don't really think that's a. a but a I'm running problem. the trolling motor up front. So I have both yeah, of them going. Well, I don't, I'm not really sure. Because I have one it on such are. low power, power, huh? I'm not sure really either one of them is an issue. I'm just saying if you're looking at noise and you really think it's a big deal. I, I mean, we fished. I, I fished in the trees, right? Two and a half feet of water. Fish are all over below us. I mean, all over the place. And you're weaving through with the electric. Those fish aren't I, moving. I, I mean, yeah. I used to think to me that. right underneath the boat. Yeah. I, to me, I used to think that that was a big deal. But after spending thousands of hours out on the water, I don't notice. Do you guys really notice? <laughs> no. That? And I think that's a whole nother sip. No, know, yeah, subject I know how we get down a rabbit because, hole. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, those, I don't think the walleyes care. Even Bass care. Traction. Trout care. I don't think any of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, crappy. That's why we need to stop talking about it because yeah. I was getting ready to go on a run stop here. Stop yeah. talking yeah. about yeah. it. Because we yeah. 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 We're, we're, we're running out of time for this one. But I think as far as kickers go, I think it's a, a great purchase. I think it's a must purchase if you're a troller. Um, I think it's something that uh, will save your big motor. Right, I mean that's the goal. Like you, it you, is. you can abuse a kicker motor. That's why I didn't do the maintenance, and, get, right, and I should have. One. Right, but I'm like, nah. Yeah, you it's know, just, it's just the kicker. It's just the kicker. <laughs> yeah. So the redheaded stepchild on the back, and of the, the one fifteen, and it's only a one fifteen Opti Max, which you make fun of, but that's my baby on my boat. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> this baby. I'm putting, it, I'm waxing it. You're like, oh yeah, baby. You know what I mean? He's because that's it, that's touching it. It's exhaust pour. Oh you know, hell dirty, yeah, dirty old man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like that? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're talking about outboard motors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't touch yours like that. <laughs> I so, totally do. So no, that's exactly why you go with the kicker. It gets you your speed right. Yeah. It gives you a safety option of having another propulsion yes. thing. Yeah, absolutely. And it it and it it allows you to. Not put the, we already put hundreds of hours on our big engines, but we've cut that well in half. Well, well at in least, half. yeah. I, I, maybe a 15%. Yeah. I did a, I mean? uh, I had them look at my big motor time, uh, about a month or two ago, and, uh, I was thinking it was going to be gigantic, you know, cause it's I'm still thinking, pretty big though, comparative it, 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 to a it, lot it of was, people. I mean, it's normal. pretty big, you know, it was over 300 hours, but that's, Probably nothing as compared to what the kicker is. I don't even know. I, I, he goes, you want me to check the kicker? I said, hell no. I, said, I don't want to know. know. I, I don't lie. know. It's better. You know, I'll just keep mm-hmm. doing my maintenance and it runs great and we'll call it good because, I mean, you know, your kicker, you can run for eight, 10, 12 hours straight all without the time. break. You know, and do long. that, yeah, and do that four or five days in a row. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oof, geez, that's putting some time on that bad boy. So I'm sure it's got a bunch, but you know what? That's what those little motors are made for. And mm-hmm. like I said, I mean, you know, I think that two stroke is just a, a champ compared to the four, but I've had the four and I've run both. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, and the two stroke. Best kicker, our best mm-hmm. small clean. engine I ever ran. Me and Mitch ran the same engine, the Honda 10. The Honda. Oh, my. It, it was a 1981. Oh, oh, my God. But see, that's what Honda used to do well, right? Uh, when and Honda they, went and to the big engine. motors, they, they started to try to graduate. Dude, but you, you take the, the cowling off, off that motor. 
And, and it, it looked, looked brand like it new. Came out of the showroom. Yeah, though. it was it was cool. I this motor, motor was so good. And when we I had it, it was 17, 18 years old. When you had it, it was like twenty two. Yeah. And you would look at the <laughs> yeah. engine and go start and be like, Bleh. yeah. yeah. Like, that's so, how you would get about a third of twenty year old engine. You yeah. were a third of the pull. Yeah, right. Yeah. So so I had the green piece with the ten horse, yeah. which used to be Brad's boat. Yeah. Yeah. He bought the the seventeen foot tracker, yeah. which now I've bought. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's got his. You know, we <laughs> these two play. Yeah, these two are, are um, very. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, Mitch has got the racket here. He's yeah. barely buying shit. He yeah. gets my leftovers, well, but he's spending. I, I know what I'm getting. <laughs> Yeah, well, because you I spend just, more time running it than he does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you well, guys have to watch how this goes when these two are together. Well, you would I, think Mitch was the boat owner for I, sure. I, so, but so back in the day, we, we took the ten horse Honda and put it on the tracker. Yeah, we were gonna have our kicker motor. Yeah, we we're like, nope, we're tr- this is a trolling tournament. Yeah. we need a kicker, so we yeah. we put it on there. And sure enough, our <laughs> we're dumbasses. We put it on, get it all hooked up, and when we look at it, it's like mm, it ain't gonna work. Not a long enough shaft. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we sure. didn't think of that. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah. But it looked good on it. it. Did. Yeah. We're like, we got a kicker. It won't work. Yeah, yeah. 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 We can't. So I want to speak of that before we well, we before we uh, uh, let Wrap go. It up. Yeah. Uh, the length of the shaft. How important do you want it? Well below. Um, the boat, the one that I bought, um, ends up sitting right below the bottom of my boat. Yeah. I mean, just right at it, like the top of the prop. Yeah, because they have the short blades. shaft, they have the regular, they have long shaft. Um, I went with, and this was at the recommendation of when I was buying the boat to get it to where it just sits at the back of the boat. I mean, oh. at the bottom of the Underneath, boat. Underneath, yeah. Um, the unless boat. you want specific applications for it. Um, and I went with that. And I don't know why, other than that recommendation, the price was r- relatively the same. Mm. What, what is yours? Do you know? Uh, you know what? I don't even know. I know it sits I, under, I, it's I mean, it's, a, it's three or four inches above the, mm-hmm. um, cavitational plate you know so i i think it's i don't know but the one thing i will say on top of that is get a tilt trim for it get the trim for it it there is especially in this and i'll t- and i'll give you the best reason why um my other one my 99 on my old boat did not have it right and i would have to you know lift it manually out of the water which is really not a big deal but at some point you're going to get to an age where it is a big deal right that's it's coming for us all um but i had to get uh, uh, i put a bracket on there that helped secure it so it was a bracket that when you pulled up there was a, a strap over it and it pulled the bracket up out of the water and but you'd have to reach down and put it in the right spot right and then you oh. strap it on so it locked it in place which was great it was great for trailering it was great for everything but when you get in bad weather and you have those huge waves and you're trying to get that up and get out of there, um, there nothing nothing beats tilt trim. Oh I mean, yeah, I mean absolutely nothing because uh, mine, you know, mine's a manual lift and I've never noticed that. I just reach over and grab it, yeah, and pick it yeah, up. But yeah. I can see your point. Oh yeah, because if you're well, and especially if if you're in that those big waves where they're you know where the back of the boat can submerge if you stick. A two hundred and fifty pound person on the well, back of the and you had that was your old boat. That Ranger sat so, so low, low in the back. Yeah, that was so. A that's probably that's probably why you noticed it in the back with with the wide gunnels and the deep V that yeah. I have. I, I've yeah, never noticed. Never, it no, you way. and you and you you may not, but if you get in those, if those you have big, a boat that sits has a low profile yeah, in the back, it's and then you get those six footers or bigger, and you get those deep, you know, those deep, deep um, swells. swells in the middle and stuff. It, it, it's tough. It's really tough to go back there and reach back there and do it and do it in a, and quickly, right? Yeah. Um, I can't tell you how many times it was, uh, you know, get that bad boy up and, and starting the big motor and okay, it's up, let's go because it was, uh, and, and you can't do that without the the. Mm-hmm. So I, I think the lesson on that is if you have a lower profile in the back boat, that's a must. Sounds yeah. like it. Because I don't run into that issue with mine. No, all, it, it, not only a must, but even it's, in it's hard. Big waves. Yeah, I mean, it's just hard to get back there and pull that, that bad boy out. And, 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 you know, everybody secures them different. Some people ride with them down. Some people ride, you know, mine's kind of up at a, at an angle because I put the, that little, uh, flip down brace underneath yeah. it. You know, so everybody does them different. I don't like to ride with mine down because I think it, yeah, sticks a little bit further down than I want it to be. Mm-hmm. It makes me nervous, but um, you know, it it's just I'm just saying it, it, I didn't have it before I have it now, and I I don't think I I, I think I would spend the money to put it on there. I think it's yeah. worth it. I think mm-hmm. that if you have the money, do it because I, I mean that's a, definitely you're not hanging out the back of the boat. You know, yeah, I mean there's all those things, right? And then you know with all the inspections. What was stuff, the other thing we were going to try to talk about? There's no way we're getting to it. 
What were we talking about when we first electric started? Motors. Electric motors. Yeah, no. motors. So I think that's going to be boat motors, three electrics. Yes. Because yes. we're we're already a couple minutes over where we're supposed to be with this. Yeah. Well, so. let us know. Let us know, kickers. You have kickers. All eyes yeah. on fishing at gmail.com. Yep. Let us know what you have or comment under the uh, post in Facebook or Instagram. Let us know what you have. Because, uh, like we said, Brad's in the market. I'm in the market. Brad is, uh, he's an empty nester. And if he, anybody uh, wants to buy a tracker target, <laughs> probably going to go to Mitch. Yeah, it's probably going to go to Mitch. We haven't yeah. talked about it, but yeah. usually that's how this has been going. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and it's uh, a good boat. <laughs> yeah, it is. I like it. <laughs> it's caught, it's caught mm, like six or seven fish. No, nine. We're up yeah. Nine. Well, you're fine. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice, yeah. And, uh, but he's, listen to us. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the, uh, he's in the market and, and that's good stuff. So, uh, we're trying to get him the best boat because Brad is at that age where this could be his last boat. I might not even get, I'm too old that I might not even get to buy the boat. Well, he has, but yeah. <laughs> you need to buy it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause you're going to get it. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. Mean, cause that's, well, gonna Mitch be my is old, boat. but Mitch is older than you. <laughs> All right. Hey, <laughs> shut up. We're over time. We're going to wrap this up. I think we're probably going to have a boat three. We're going to be talking trolling <laughs> motors, but anyway, so from everybody at All Eyes on Fishing, thanks. This has been All Eyes on Fishing. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, go ahead and subscribe to The Next Level. And you can hear longer podcasts and more information on all of your favorite topics. And check us out at alleyesonfishing.com for apparel, blogs, and other information. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. All Eyes on Fishing, leading you to the next level.